Hey y'all, this is Miss Sisty, the Rensselaer Park Band teacher. If you are now watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out and choose what instrument you'd like to learn. There are so many, I know it's hard. That's why I'm here to help. The woodwinds. So we're gonna start off with the flute. As you can see, it's very small, very easy to carry. If you walk to school, this would be a good instrument for you. As you see, it comes in three parts. It also has lots and lots of buttons, but it's very easy to put together. So again, just to summarize, it's easy to carry, uses the treble clef, and plays high notes, the flute. Okay, next up is the clarinet. There are actually two types, a bass clarinet and a regular clarinet. They both play the same, but here we go. So the clarinet comes in a few more parts. It's still very easy to carry. Sorry, I'm looking for a read. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, so these are all the parts. This is how you put it together. A bass clarinet is put together the same way, just bigger pieces. This is a great instrument if you walk, and I would recommend bass clarinet if you take the bus. So as you can see, I'm just trying to show you how a reed would normally be put on. This will come in handy later when we have another instrument with a reed. Some other good things to know is that a clarinet can play low and high notes. Squidward plays the clarinet. This instrument's easy to carry and uses the treble clef. The clarinet. Okay, next up we have the alto and the tenor saxophone. I'm just gonna quickly show you the slight difference. So an alto is a little bit lighter, and as you can see, a tenor saxophone's a bit heavy. So I would recommend if you ride the bus, this instrument is good for you. Okay, sorry, I'm very excited because this is my favorite instrument. I grew up playing saxophone. So as you can see, the necks are a little bit different. One's curvy and one of them is straight. The mouthpieces are also slightly different. The tenor one is bigger than the alto one. See them side by side. As you can see, they're still the same design with the curly end at the bottom. As you can see, the assembly is the same regardless. You attach the neck. You stick the mouthpiece on. You then take a neck strap and attach it. And you're ready to go. After your reed, of course. And that's the saxophone. Now on to the brass instruments. All right, next up is the trumpet. As you can see, it's pretty easy to carry. So this is a great instrument if you walk or if you bust to school, either way. When you open it up, the trumpet doesn't have that many pieces. It's just the trumpet body and the mouthpiece. That's it. You stick the mouthpiece in, you blow into it, press the three buttons, and you're ready to go. Yes, there are only three buttons, so a lot of the notes come from using air and your mouth. Markiplier plays this instrument. It plays lows and high notes, is easy to carry, and uses the treble clef, the trumpet. Next, we have the trombone. This instrument is a little heavy, so if you ride the bus, this instrument is good for you. Like the trumpet, when you open it up, there's not that many pieces. So the trombone has two main pieces, besides the mouthpiece. We have the bell and the slide. You screw the pieces together, as you see, making sure it's nice and sturdy. As you can see, make sure the slide works. There are no buttons to this instrument. You stick that mouthpiece in, you slide the slide, and you're good to go. So just to recap, this trombone plays low notes. It uses the bass clef. It has no buttons and is great if you ride the bus. The trombone. Next up is the baritone. So, like the trumpet again, comes in two pieces, mouthpiece and the body. So all you do, stick the mouthpiece in, make sure that the valves work, and you're good to go. This is a common thing amongst brass instruments for there to be not a lot of buttons. So again, notes are dependent on your air and mouth. It plays low notes, it's good for those who ride the bus, it only has three buttons, and uses the bass clef, the baritone. Lastly, the percussion section. Now, there are a lot of things that are in the percussion section. These are the different sticks that we can use. We use all of these instruments. They're all part of the percussion. So some snare sticks for snare, we have some bells or marimba mallets, the ones that have color on them. We also have shakers and kielbasas, triangles, and the per appropriate triangle hitters, cymbals, a big bass drum, 
just so many instruments. The one that you'll need the most is your drum pad for practicing at home. So just to recap, there are more things in the percussion section than just drums. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, that's all from me. I hope you pick up a recruitment form soon, and I can't wait to see you all.